This is the craziest camera I can have in a hospital. It collects more than 3 million data points every second and it can detect the motion down to 0.1 millimeters. That's like the thickness of an A4 paper. By the way, this is my friend Little John and today we will see how the camera works on his surface. These cameras can be used to monitor the cancer patient's position when they receive radiation from this Varian machine. Which means that you can never treat a patient wrong with this accuracy. Unless the patient is moving faster than the speed of light, which is theoretically impossible. This technology is our only super fast way to know if the patient moved while the radiation is entering their body. And we call this field surface guided radiotherapy because we use the patient's surface data or information to actually monitor the entire treatment. Yeah, 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 but, but why is it important? Well, because if the tumor is located in a very critical part in the body, like near the spinal cord or like the brain, and you need to deliver a very high dose of radiation, then how would you guarantee that you did that correctly? You delivered the radiation to the right place and you can stop the radiation if the patient actually moved. Before this technology, we had no way to know if the patient moved during treatment, or at least to stop the radiation quickly before the wrong place in the body gets the radiation instead. And it was even harder for the children that had to be sedated and we used different things to hold them still on the couch to make sure that they are not moving during the treatment. In the same time, for the adult patients, we used tattoos, three little points that could be drawn on the body and then we could be use the lasers in the room to position them correctly before we start the treatment. Can you just imagine that before people trusted three tattoo points instead of the three million points that we have today using this technology? It, it's just crazy. But thankfully all this is gone now thanks to this new technology. And since the last years, the development of the field of surface guided radiotherapy has been amazing. Here are some of the coolest things that these cameras are able to do. This camera from CRAD can create a 3D color map to tell the nurses what part of the body needs to be corrected and repositioned. If it's red, the body part needs to be corrected down, and if yellow, it should be corrected up. Super easy and very intuitive, which is very appreciated when you have to treat many patients during the day. They can also detect the breathing motion, and adjust the treatment for different patients based on the ability of breathing, which is super important for most breast cancer patients so their heart don't get a lot of radiation. Or like the brain lab system, the camera combines information from the 3D surface and trigger x-ray images. And on top of that, it can also use a heat map to be even more accurate in the positioning of the patient. But one of my favorite features is that all these cameras are able to pause radiation the moment the patient moves more than a certain value that you could decide. Like for example, more than three millimeters. By the way, guys, tell me if you like this kind of videos and would like to see more of them. And since I'm new to YouTube, I would appreciate your support and feedback. And if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll try to reply to them. Hope you like this video and don't forget to like so we can spread it further to other people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.